Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed of Oman on his country's National Day. His Majesty wished him lasting good health and happiness and the Omani people further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of Sultan Haytham. His Majesty the King prays the depth of relations that bind the two countries and people, wishing them further development. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty wished the Moroccan monarch lasting good health and happiness and the Moroccan people further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of King Mohammed. His Majesty praised the depth of relations that bind the two countries and people, wishing them further development. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Moroccan monarch, His Majesty King, King Mohammed VI, on the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed, on Oman's National Day. His Royal Highness expressed best wishes to His Majesty Sultan Haytham and wished the people of Oman further progress and prosperity under his leadership. He praised the strength of bilateral ties, wishing these relations further growth and development. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs, His Highness Sayyid Fahd bin Mahmoud Al Said. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Mor King of Morocco, His Majesty King Mohammed VI, on Morocco's Independence Day. His Royal Highness expressed best wishes to His Majesty King Mohammed and wished the people of Morocco further progress and prosperity. He praised the depth of relations between Bahrain and Morocco, expressing wishes for the, their further development. His Royal Highness also sent two similar cables to the Crown Prince of Morocco, His Royal Highness Prince Maulai Al Hassan and to the Prime Minister of Morocco, Saad al-Din Uthmani. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Crown Prince of Brunei Dar es Salaam, His Royal Highness Prince Haji Muhtadi Billah, over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which he expressed his deepest condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of Finland, Sana Marin, over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which she expressed her deepest condolences. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Prime Minister of Slovakia Igor Matovic over the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in which he expressed his deepest condolences. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, welcomed the signing of the agreement between Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and the UAE Zayed Higher Organization for People of Determination, the ZHO, which aims at bolstering cooperation in the field of humanitarian work and rehabilitating children with autism. His Highness noted that the agreement reflects the various forms of cooperation between the two friendly countries, which is in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Sheikh Nasser noted the continuous development of the Bahraini UAE relations in all fields, particularly in the field of sports. He underscored his keenness on dedicating sports for humanitarian work and contribute to rehabilitating autistic children through equestrian sports. For his part, the chairman of ZHO, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, expressed thanks to the affiliate to brief and welcome the signing of the agreement, hailing the distinguished bilateral relations. The president of brief, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the secretary general of ZHO, Abdullah Abdul Ali Al Hamidan, signed the joint agreement. For his part, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah noted that the agreement reflects the directives of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and bolstering cooperation with various institutions from the UAE to strengthen bilateral cooperation. The ambassador of the UAE to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, expressed pleasure with his participation in the signing of the agreement, which reflects the deep-rooted brother relations between the two countries. 
For his part, the ambassador of the kingdom to the UAE affirmed that equestrian sports in both Bahrain and the UAE have witnessed great development and that this agreement will further their development, particularly in the humanitarian field. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 28th session of the Middle East Petroleum and Gas Conference, MPGC 2020, which will be held over two days virtually. Sheikh Mohammed noted the importance of the conference to discuss the future of the oil and gas industry in the region and the world, and the mechanisms to achieve the balance of energy markets in light of the challenges resulting from the coronavirus pandemic, particularly because the conference includes senior figures and specialized personalities in this field, who possess the visions and experiences that enable them to reach the best solutions to face the challenges. He affirmed that the oil and gas sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys the support and the esteemed government that is embodied in the pioneering projects the Kingdom is witnessing in the oil and gas sector and the petrochemical industry. He highlighted the importance of topics discussed at the conference at its session this year, including the relationship between OPEC Plus members and their level of compliance with decisions related to production levels, crude oil trading, pricing and risk management, LNG trading and the digitalization revolution in the oil markets. He pointed out that the Kingdom is working according to a deliberate strategy in developing the oil sector, especially the Gulf of Bahrain field, which is considered the largest field in the history of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa was keen on enhancing the commercial and investment sectors in the kingdom for its important importance in the kingdom's economy. More on this report. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa had an astounding record of achievements in developing Bahraini global cooperation, especially in the commercial and investment fields, by encouraging economic delegations to establish joint projects and by attracting investment opportunities. His Royal Highness had always stressed on the need for commercial delegations to carry a message to decision-makers in their countries that the countries of the region are looking for more economic development and cooperation opportunities. He stressed on the importance of working to increase trade exchange and establish joint projects between countries and continue the endeavors to deepen economic relations. In every meeting, the late Prince affirmed that the exchange of economic delegations will contribute to creating an atmosphere that promotes the commercial and investment sectors at a faster rate, as well as create a legislative foundation that supports transforming Bahrain into a globally attractive environment for investment. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa was ambitious and had an insightful vision and led the government towards a major economic recovery, which contributed to the creation of a strong commercial and economic foundation in the kingdom. The health condition of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa did not deter him from following up on government work and the efforts of all ministries. More on this report. Despite the health conditions of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, he was keen on following up on government work following his treatment trip to Germany, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. He did not rest assured until he supervised the work of all state institutions, which stems from his concern for the affairs of government work and implementation of the directives and visions of His Majesty the King. Despite his illness, the late prince was keen during his last months to receive ministers and officials to follow up on the latest developments in the kingdom, as he directed many ministries to resolve issues and follow up on developments to ensure that government work is carried out optimally. The late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman was keen on following up on all that concerns citizens, especially during the pandemic, which is evident through government efforts that contributed to alleviating its impact. Upon receiving executive authority members, the late prince repeatedly emphasized the government's keenness on developing services that support the kingdom's efforts in all fields. He asserted that Bahrain has managed to protect the community and its health through the unlimited efforts of medical cadres working in the front lines, whom he stated had raised citizens and residents' awareness easily and clearly. The late prince affirmed during his meetings that Bahrain is capable of overcoming all challenges and of continuing the efforts of progress and raising the status of the country, and the people of Bahrain will strive to fulfill his aspirations and visions for the interest of the country.